Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, and I'm coming to you today with a really quick review for one of my favorite foundations. Actually, this is like my favorite foundation right now, and I should actually go back and print a retraction because I don't know how quick this video is going to be, but I am going to try to make it really concise, informative, and helpful. Okay, so as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos lately, and even before, I actually started wearing Lancome uh, foundation. I was wearing Lancome... Taunt Idol, and now I am wearing Lancome Taunt Miracle, and I absolutely love this foundation. I actually have it right here along with some of my favorite brushes to apply it with, and I want to just go ahead and tell you a few things about the foundation just off the bat. Number one, it's great for all skin types. It's oil-free, and it has that little uh, shimmery iridescent glitters, and not even glitter, sparkles, shimmers that kind of give you that lit from within glow. So that's why I've been getting a lot of compliments on it and that's why I've been loving it so much because it really does give your skin a really nice lit from within glow. It makes your skin look really healthy. It's oil free and like I said it's great for all different skin types and it has somewhat of a very natural finish. Another thing I like about this is it actually has an SPF of 15, so if you are going to wear this during the day, then you know that you already have a little bit of protection in here, so then you can go ahead and follow up, or actually prior to putting this on, you can use a moisturizer with an SPF. The moisturizer I use to pair with this is my L'Oreal Youth Code that also has an SPF of 15, I believe. No, I'm sorry, actually the L'Oreal Youth Code has an SPF of 30, and then this has an SPF of 15, so I really, really liked it a lot. I mean, it blends out really, really well, which is one of the first things that attracted me to it. It just blends out all over your face very well. And if you're around my skin tone, then you know sometimes it's really hard to find a foundation to match your skin without having to wear two or three separate foundations, because I have more... Uh, cool around my face and more warm tones in the center of my face which is why I really like this especially with the golden shimmer because with that golden shimmer when it is in the center of my face you can really see the uh, warmth and it really helps to enhance my complexion. I just want to do a quick zooming in so you can see I don't have on a lot of foundation right now um, I don't even have on any concealer. I have on a little bit of this foundation. This is my color right here. This is Suede 4 C. Now, I know that that means probably Suede Cool. I've never seen Suede 4 um, W. But what I want to do is just show you the color. And the consistency is very, very smooth. It blends out very very nicely and it helps to bring all the tones in my face together and still keeping them separate without having to wear two and three different foundation colors. This foundation also actually gives me a really good long lasting wear and when I am wearing it like I've said in a lot of my uh, foundation reviews and tutorials I really like more so to get compliments on my skin than my foundation and this is definitely one of those foundations that makes sure you get the compliments on your skin. Um, some of the brushes that I really like to apply them with are right here. So I'm going to start with my newest favorite and this is the Samantha Chapman uh, buffing brush and I actually have a review for this. I'll have it in the bottom bar so you guys can go ahead and check that out. And then this is one of my most inexpensive brushes right here and this is the e.l.f. and this is their powder brush. And I really, really like that. I usually apply it to something, dip the brush in, and then bounce and blend it all over my face. I also have, of course, my Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Stippling Brush, which I really, really like. It's a medium density foundation, so it goes on. It'll stay in place, but you can blend it out very, very well with a stippling brush. I have what is somewhat of a MAC 109, I always say that, but this is actually the Sigma F05 brush. I will have a link in the bottom bar if you're not familiar with Sigma and their brushes. They have really, really great brushes. And then I have this little brush from Sonia Kashuk, which actually really, really, which actually really, really reminds me of the MAC 109 and also the F05 from Sigma. Now, this brush is the brush that I use to set my foundation with. And, um... I set my foundation here with my powder effects, and this is in B35, okay? So I usually just take my fluffy brush. This is actually a Look New York brush, and if you're in New York and you 
are familiar with Dwayne Reed, you can probably find these there. They're kind of expensive, but really good brush. So I set it with this powder right here. And then as my highlight, I actually have another Lancome powder. I use Lancome Cafe, and here that is right here. And I just take that on like my Sonia Kasha brush. I'll swirl it, I'll get some on the tips, and I'll just sweep it in here for a very light um, highlighting effect. This actually also helps to give your skin a really nice uh, matte appearance. Very light, but still matte. So if you're having a breakout or something, you're just going to sweep some matte powder over there. So you don't have so much shine on those breakouts, so it won't be so apparent. You can also use a translucent powder for that. Um, one of my favorite primers to use with it because it is such a nice medium density foundation. I really love the Sephora primer. I don't know the name of it. Sephora. I can never really tell exactly what I should call it. Wrinkle Filling Primer from Sephora. And I love to use this under my eyes and all over my face. It's a really nice, thick, creamy um, primer. And it's really, really nice. So if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below. Definitely 5 out of 5 stars. It looks great indoors and outdoors. Doesn't have any odd smells. Uh, the only thing I could say is it's $37, but I mean that's about $13 more expensive than your lowest high quality foundation, which would be MAC. They're kind of like low end um, department store foundation. And for the value and for the quality and for the wear and for the color match, I definitely think it's worth it. It definitely is definitely almost coming in and taking the place of my makeup forever. I think the only thing that's stopping that from happening is, I don't know, there's just something a little bit different about Makeup Forever Foundation. However, Lancome is definitely awesome. So if you guys have a chance to go ahead and check out some Lancome Tant Idol, uh, Tant Idol Ultra, which has a matte finish, or Tant Idol Miracle, which has a natural finish, then I definitely recommend you do that, or at least go ahead and get some samples. I will have more foundation reviews, tutorials, and how-tos in the bottom bar, so please check that out. I have so, so many videos on foundation. I even have another foundation review and tutorial about Tant Idol. So go ahead and check that out. As always, guys, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye. By the way, if you guys have any questions or comments about this eye look, I will be having this tutorial coming up very, very soon.